Okay guys, so I guess we're going to be doing another mailbox build here. Uh, after working on my sister's mailbox, still need to take that to her. But after working on hers, I realized that our mailbox is horribly simple and dull. So. I don't know, I got to looking online, looking at some few few things, got some ideas. I thought, what the heck, let's spice up our own mailbox. So that's what I'm doing. Got all my woodworking equipment out anyway, so might as well do something with it, right? Anyway, I'm uh, actually using quite a few tools on this job. I got my, my Craig jig out. This is for making uh, pocket screws and allows you to make like really like, cabinets and stuff. And that's kind of what I'm doing uh, for the mailbox. I'm not building a cabinet, but it's kind of like that. I made up a little drawing here. That's kind of what I'm going for. Something like that. I think it'll be uh, maybe 60 inches high, maybe a little higher. But that's what I'm going for. Uh, you can see here, these are the frames that I'm making that will make this deal here. So, yeah, that's what I'm making. I got the uh, pocket screws in the bag, holding it on, gluing it down. So, should be okay. I'm using the the tight bond two premium wood glue supposed to be uh, interior exterior so should be good for what we're doing
Anyway, I got a lot of these I gotta make. I've got uh, three made already here. You see, I got two here. So I need four for the bottom piece. Then I need to make four for the top piece. Actually, I'm just gonna add it on here. I'm gonna make these one piece. So I'll get them on there once I get the other things made, but anyway I got a plan but as usual I'm just kind of winging it so plans will change probably as I go along but I gotta get these uh, screwed together glued and screwed together and move on I picked up a bunch of trim uh, from the store to add to this like I said just kind of winging it so We'll see what happens with it. I got an idea in my head, but that might change along the way. I'm going to be using the uh, old mailbox. You can see it's seen better days. So I'm going to clean it up, give it a coat of paint here. Just a quick coat. This is like a dark brown, dark grayish kind of color. Uh, they're calling it. Uh, oil rubbed bronze so it's kind of like a a brownish color I guess dark brown so that's what uh, I'm gonna do with this Okay, so I've got my box uh, made. I kind of skipped a few steps. Forgot to turn my camera on, but anyway, it's it's put together the pieces that I made, uh, glued and screwed just like the the frames were made with my Craig jig and the pocket screws. But uh, so there it is. This actually slides right over top of the six by six post that was there. Uh, so hey, I designed it. But um, yeah, and then uh, I'm taking my router right now. You can get a look at it. It uh, just gives the, the, the box a little more uh, luxury to it. It uh, just gives it a nice uh, look uh, if you compare it to just the square corners which is it's fine um, that's like a, what do they call that shaker style or something if you don't if you like that the style uh, you can you can just leave it that way but I wanted to add a little more um, style to this let me see it's hard to tell because it's all uh, wood right now but you can see it right there so um, I've got a, I got a panel in here uh, for the front. I'm going to have one in the back. I'm going to use the 6x6 six six post for this panel. And then I'm going to have to make a panel for each side here. Uh, I think I'm going to have to leave this open though to actually install this on the post. And then once I get the post, or once I get it installed on the post, I'm going to have to install this panel, uh, the panel over here on this side, then I'm going to have to install my trim, and then my top piece is how I'm going to have to install this. So that's, that's the plan right now. I got to finish routering this out. I got to get my other panel glued on the, on the other side, and I'm going to go out and do another test fit, make sure everything's working out right, and uh, we'll go from there, I guess. Okay, so what I come up with to be able to install this thing 
kind of piece by piece and then ever take it apart if I ever need to take it apart take it down is I got these two panels on the side I'm going to slide in and it's kind of a tight fit right now but I'd rather have it tight than loose I don't want these moving around in there so I'll take them out screw the thing down to the box and then I'll slide these panels back in slide them back in there then I'll take my top trim piece and I'll put that on and that's how uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to install this thing so it should work out pretty slick just use some scrap pieces that I had laying to, to make a it's kind of like a crude it'd be a crude shelf you could you could do a, uh, or not a shelf a drawer you could do a drawer like that so it's just a kind of a crude way to do it but uh, I think it's gonna work out real good okay so I just finished up my topper piece I just did some sanding on here but uh, it's uh, this is the piece that's gonna go on top of the post you can see there it's um, all I did was took some crown molding and I made it fit you know the size of the post that I have and then the, the top piece here <coughs> is just um, getting choked by all the dust in here this top piece is just some I think two by six that we had <coughs> I needed it like 14 inches long or something so I had to I put two pieces together uh, again I just used my uh, Craig jig to glue it screw it together but it should uh, should be pretty neat up there guys should be able to get it up there tomorrow okay so I did a test fit of all my pieces everything looks good right now I'm putting some primer on this thing uh, right now I'm just concerned about priming the, the bottom side or mostly the bottom side I'm gonna install it and then I'll, I'll paint the whole thing installed but just want to get this uh, bottom side protected because it's probably gonna see quite a bit of moisture being close to the ground so I want to get that all sealed up got one coat probably gonna do another coat down here make sure I get everything uh, covered pretty good but I'm just using that uh, kills primer or bullseye primer whatever it is and I'll just use some outdoor uh, white paint is what, it, what it, is what we're gonna do thought about staining it but really the house has nothing with stain on it so uh, the trim is white so we'll go with white I guess so there's the final product guys pretty happy with how it turned out got my house number up there and um, put some brick around the bottom and I actually use some um, fake flowers for that uh, a couple of reasons I did that was I'm not gonna have to wait for a plant to grow also I didn't want to put dirt in there that would cause the the whole thing to start rotting out in the bottom also watering it all the time would probably cause some problems so that's what I did I just used some foam um, actually some foam insulation that I had left over from my camper stuck it in there kind of spray painted it to hide it put a few pieces of brick on it to hold it down and it turned out really well I think the yellow really goes good with the white um, of the mailbox so you can see the iron piece that I have under the mailbox for support uh, I really like that piece when I was looking at mailboxes um, I seen some people using some of them iron pieces for support I just really like it so I wanted to incorporate it into my design I think it turned out uh, really well I think the whole mailbox turned out really well I think it's nice and balanced uh, painting the mailbox I love that color really like that color so I'll post links on some of the stuff guys with the stuff that I can that I used on this project so you can go check that out if you want but anyway I guess that's gonna do it uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I guess I'll see you